YouTube, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And this whole number thing, it's been going crazy. And Ravens, they started off slow. They were like, uh, well, we ain't gonna change our numbers. We ain't worried about none of that stuff. But ever since it started picking up, it ain't stopped picking up. And LJ ended up changing his number. Not Lamar Jackson, but LJ Fort. And this was a sneaky one. Because I, I didn't see him getting caught up in this whole number thing. I, I didn't think he was going to be one of the ones that ended up changing his number. But he said, hey, okay, I got 58. My boy PQ just switched to the six. Hmm. Three is available because RG. Uh, but anyway, three is available. So what did he do? He took that opportunity and snatched it up. So now LJ Ford is going to be rocking the three. And this whole thing has really, uh, it's, it's growing on me a lot. Because y'all know, like I said before, with the whole number changing thing and the implementing the college system, and I know a lot of y'all are still really just not with it. I know a lot of y'all love it. But for me, I was kind of just, I was really whatever about it. I was like, oh, okay, cool. It is what it is. I wasn't the biggest fan of it, but I, I didn't, I wasn't knocking it. I just was like, whatever about it. But now... I'm starting to like it. Now, again, when it comes to the jerseys, it automatically makes whatever jersey you had before, boom, instant throwback. Instant throwback. But again, like we talked about in previous videos, number changing when it comes to Baltimore Ravens, it's nothing new. It's nothing new. It happens. It happens on the low. It doesn't get announced like it usually would get announced before, but it does still happen. Of course, we remember with Marlon Humphrey a couple years ago, he made the switch. Deshaun Elliott made the switch a few years ago. Uh, so these things occur. So, But now with it being a new rule with the NFL allowing them to actually dip down into the single digits, now it's a real deal. But the Ravens, we only got one single digit left. And that is literally the number one. That's the only one left. Is somebody going to take it? Is somebody going to take on that pressure that comes with being number one? Because think about it, man. If you, <laughs> like anybody that's ever played college ball, anybody that's ever played high school ball, anybody that's ever played, period, even if you didn't play, even if you never played football ever, organized or street, whatever, you know the pressure that comes with being number one. If you're going to win number one, whoo, you, you better be the best thing on that field, man. Straight up. You better be the best thing on that field. Because if you're going to be rocking number one and you sorry, ooh, boy. If Ravens gave out that number and the person ended up, they may revoke it midseason. They may be like, hey, look, we'll give you the cash to pay for all the jerseys, but you can't wear number one no more. So we'll see if anybody, <laughs> if anybody takes that on. I ain't heard about anybody taking it. I ain't heard about anybody wanting it so far, but we'll see. Because, again, number two, that's Tyler Huntley, I believe. Number three is now LJ Fort. Number four, um, who's, oh, Sam Cooke. Number five, Hollywood now. Number six, Patrick Queen. Number seven, Trace McSorley. Number eight, well, I think that's, that's a guy that everybody's pretty familiar with. Number nine, Justin Tucker. Number 10 is available, too. But one, 1 through 10, well, in between 1 and 10, uh, it's all taken up. But 1 and 10 are available because that was Chris Moore's number. Now I believe he went to the Houston Texans, I want to say. So, yeah. But, hey, we'll see. I don't think we really have any – well, we do obviously always have candidates because people could change their numbers before the season starts. But I don't really see anybody taking the number one. I mean, you never know till you know, but – Anyway, back to LJ Ford with him making this change. I know somebody on Twitter, I think it was Purple Rain Air, he said, oh, maybe Ravens should call their linebacker unit the 3-6 Mafia because LJ got the three, and then, of course, Patrick Queen got the six. Uh, but LJ Ford, like we said before about Hollywood, uh, about Patrick Queen, you look good, you feel good, you play good. And this goes, it doesn't just go for football. It can go for literally any scenario ever. Like, y'all know. Well, me, well, I've been doing this actually before quarantine when I cut my hair and stuff. If I do a good job, then I'll be like, ooh, hoo, hoo. we about to shoot this video. I don't know what we about to talk about, but hey, it don't matter. 
this lineup is clean. Not not this lineup, but when I do a good job. And for y'all that go to the barber shop, y'all, you fellas, I know y'all know, and ladies, y'all know too. When you get your hair done, like you could be walking around, you could have on the worst outfit, even though that's me every day. But you could have on the bummiest outfit. You could just be looking like just a mess, straight up. But if when you walk into that barber shop and you walk out, as soon as you get out the chair, you just feel like a whole new man. And I know for ladies, once you walk into that salon. And you get your hair done and you step out. It's like, whoo, ho, got it. So it's the same way when it comes to these guys and their jersey numbers. These jerseys, they, the, the, the numbers can make them, well, especially the people who are changing them. But it, the, the number could have an impact on that game. And it just, when you feel good, again, you, you feel good, you look good, and you play good. And that can give you this, this super boost of confidence, too. It really can in anything that you do. Say, for instance, you go into a job interview. Now, of course, you would think to most people, oh, yeah, for a job interview, you got to come right. You got to look good. You got to speak good, smell good, have a good talk game, all that good stuff. Have on a nice suit. If you don't have on a suit, then need a nice button up shirt and a tie, all that good stuff. But everybody doesn't know that. So there could be somebody that may come to a job interview, they may throw on a t-shirt or even maybe even a polo. They may even throw on a polo. Maybe have on shorts or something. But they just, if, if they go to the interview like that, and they, they might not have had, had the best haircut or the most recent haircut or whatnot. And if they go to the interview like that, they'll know. They, they won't have the same confidence as if they had on the suit and the fresh lineup or new hairdo, whatever it might be. It's, it's not going to be the same. So this applies to so many different areas of life. When you look good, you feel good. And even if you're not playing, you will execute good or you'll execute that much better. Because you know you'll look the part. So again, shout out to LJ Fort. Shout out to Patrick Queen. Shout out to Hollywood. And all these boys who getting these new numbers. Because now it's... It's going to look weird. I know Lacey DaCosta mentioned it yesterday on Twitter. She said that she's she going to need to have a little roster card with her when she's watching the games. Because it, it, it's, it's going to be strange, man. Well, I mean, nobody else changed so far. Nobody in addition to the guys that changed. But when we see Hollywood out there, uh, it's going to be different. It's going to take some getting used to, seeing LJ and seeing Patrick. All, all that stuff is going to take some getting used to. And then you got to think about everybody on the opposing teams as well. It's all going to take some getting used to because so much, so many of us are used to these players having these certain numbers and be like, oh, OK, that's 13. I know him. Da, 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 da. Nope. They change it. Oh, that's 15. OK. Yeah, I remember. Nope. They change it. Oh, that's number two. I remember. Nope. Different number now. So this season should be fun. And we we need this season to hurry up and get here because the stuff that some people have been arguing about, you could tell I mean, it's definitely the off season. So team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all and shout out to everybody getting their new numbers. So like everybody who got a new number now, like it comes to them when it comes to their old jersey, we are out. <laughs>